So I got a new brake server um, booster servo um, booster from Apple Hydraulics. And the only hassle I had is this piece right here, this valve, um, did not come on the new unit. And so getting this out, I've got it out already, getting this out was a real pain. The way I ended up doing it, I was afraid I was going to break it. It was trying to pry it out of there. And what I ended up doing was uh, taking and by cutting with a razor knife, cutting this gasket, just cutting along in here, and then pulling this out, prying it out with a screwdriver. That gasket also goes down into here. But once I got it cut from around the outer lip, it loosened up a little bit, and then I took a couple, three really wide-bladed screwdrivers and slowly pried this out. If you take just one screwdriver, you're gonna break it. But uh, the, the reason I really wanted to do this video, other than to get that out, is um, oh, oh the other other reason is I wanted to talk about and I might do this in another video this adjustment this adjustment the Haynes manual has a specification for this screw uh, you you got to screw the screw in and out to set it properly and you do it while the engine's running um, and, and I think it's supposed to be ten thousandths of an inch lower than flush with with this I'll I'll do that later but I wanted to, to just do a video showing, you know, does the brake fluid really disappear into this thing? Well, I, I, I think it does. That is what was in mine. Yuck. So you can get the rebuild kit for this, but I decided just to have Apple Hydraulics do it. I've got other projects to do.